Hello and welcome to BMC Discovery. In this video, we are going to take a look on how to perform appliance backup and restore in BMC Discovery. Let's log into the appliance with system user. Go to the administration. From appliance section, click on backup and restore. The appliance backup feature allows you to backup the data store and critical configuration files. With BMC Discovery, you have two type of backup options available. First one is local and the second one is remote. Let's take a look at the remote backup. First, we will select the option of SSH. Enter the host name. Enter the port. Enter the directory path. Enter the user. Enter the password and click on test connection. Here you can see that the connection test is successful. We will select the same options, add email when complete and click on shutdown and backup. Click on OK. Here you can see in the user interface that backup is started. Let's go to the target directory. And here you can see that the backup is being created inside this directory. The backup is completed successfully. Let's log back in into the system. Here you can see that the backup is created successfully. Now let's take a look at the backup type window share. Let's add notes, enter the path, enter the username and the password. Click on test connection. Here you can see that the connection test failed. If the connection test fails, then you need to make sure that the details provided here are correct and valid. For example, let's update the password of the administrator user to the correct one and click on test connection again. Now you can see that the connection test is successful. Please note that until and unless this connection test succeed, you won't have these options to start the backup. Let's enter the same details again and click on shutdown and backup. Click on OK. Here you can see that the backup is created successfully. And on the target share, we can see this folder and the backup files. Now let's take a look at the restore. We have taken the backup from this appliance. Let's restore that backup over here. Let's log into the system user. Let's go to the administration, backup and restore. Click on the section restore backup. Here you also have the backup type on appliance, which is local and remote as SSH and Windows share. Let's pick the backup type as Windows share. Enter the path, enter the username, enter the password and click on test connection. Here you can see that the connection test has failed because backup directory does not exist. This is because on the share, the backup is stored inside the folder. So from the path, you have to copy the folder name, enter it here in the path and then click on test connection. Now you can see that the connection test is successful. You can also see when the backup was created, what was the size of the backup, if it was encrypted, and the other notes about the backup, and the how much data restore will overwrite as part of this process. Also note that the restore overrides existing user, passwords, and permission. So you need to know the username and password of the appliance from where the backup is taken in order to log back in once the restore is completed. Now let's take a look at the options. The first option is verify backup in which backup archive file verification is performed. The second option is appliance identity. Here you have two options, take appliance identity from the backup or preserve current appliance identity. Appliance identity consists of appliance name and description, HTTP configuration, key certificate and API security data. If you are restoring the backup, which was taken from the same appliance, in that case, you can choose the option take appliance identity from the backup. In case of an upgrade, migration, and if you want to take the backup from one appliance and restore it on the other appliance to create a dev or test environment, select the option preserve current appliance identity. Enter the description passphrase. Enter the user who will receive the notification once the restore is complete. Click on shutdown and restore and click on OK. 
please note that the TKUs are also part of the restore. So when you are performing restore and the status is on starting reasoning services, it means that the TKU from the backup is being compiled and activated. Here you can see that the restore is completed successfully. That's all in this session for right now. Thank you for watching.